What's up guys? This girl absolutely freaked out at the idea that she might not be able to come down here with us when we're going to the snake room. So here she is. Huh, huh. Tinley setup day video. You guys ready for it? Uh, should be pretty good. It is really good. I was there, I already edited it. So, oh, you wanna get down? Okay, you go You go do whatever you wanna do, I guess. Just, just let me know if that snake chokes you out by making a sound when you hit the floor. I'm gonna use house music today, just kinda switch it up a little bit. Let me know how you guys feel about that. And also let me know in the next video for the actual show day, if you wanna have heavy metal or if you wanna have hip hop, like old school hip hop. Come on, air conditioner. And we'll make sure to uh, incorporate you guys in that way. But first, this is what we got. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. What about frogs? That they're amphibians and they have to stay moist to survive. Some are poisonous and some are normal. And the biggest frog <laughs> is it ba, ba, ba. the African bullfrog? Yeah. I, maybe. <laughs> the point is, I don't know what the biggest frog is we have a frog over here and a toad over here the f frogs do not have we, i don't think they have scales they can breathe on both water and land and they jump and they eat flies and they make ribbit noises like this ribbit And that's all I know. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for that lovely rendition of what do you know. Hey, Mushi, you getting choked out yet? <laughs> Look at that little mukamaka. So, anyway, uh, the show was awesome. Everybody that was hanging out was awesome. I had a great time hanging out with everybody and spent a good amount of time hanging out with everybody. I, I pushed it pretty hard into the late night. If you were hanging out with me there, then you know... We went hard. Well, I went hard while the rest of you went to sleep. <laughs> let's, let's get to the show. Don't, don't hurt anybody. <laughs> I got cocky. What do you guys think V stands for? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what V stands for. Jason, any guesses? I don't know. Not even noon yet. These guys are already getting it going, man. Getting it started. It's noon. Right? It is not noon yet. No it's anything. noon in Germany right now. <laughs> it's noon on the East Coast. It's Mexican apple juice. Mexican apple juice. <laughs> 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 That's how you do it. You bring it right in to break down the chairs, fall off the chairs. This time at the Freedom Breeder booth, we had all the things still on wheels. Rolled right out of wheels. We didn't have to break down a bunch of racks. Look, it's already set up. We gangstered it. It's ready to go. So, I want to just show you guys a couple animals around the show, ride around and show you guys stuff and just check out the vibe and see what's going on on setup day. And uh, I heard that there's a couple of pied berms sitting over there and these pied berms are actually even head albino and that the person who has them also has a pair of visual albino pied berms and these things look sweet so we're going to check those out first they're going to hang out for the rest of the day set up day let you guys see kind of who's around a little bit and maybe just do a little this and that and sound like a plan good <laughs> So these are some uh, pied berms that were produced in, with by Dominic Rizzo and Jay Gonzalez in collaboration. His uh, Dominic's company is Serpents by Design, and he sent me here with a pair of pieds and a pair of champagnes. This is one of the pieds. I believe this is the boy. And I can take out the girl too, although she looks like she's ready to 
the pattern is just incredible. I love the low white. I know, right? It's just really... Sometimes if there's too much white, it kind of bleeds them out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of just right. I love everything it brings to the pattern. There's so much going on yeah. in the pattern from that little, yep. that graniting in the neck. Exactly. And then we got a whole, these long, big swirling stripes right there on the, yep. on the side. These big... It's amazing. And then you got the different colors in there too. You got the silvers and these golds. Yeah, it's almost like different, a whole bunch of different snakes put together. Yeah. That's a, that's a good way to maximize your cage space. Gives the animals the best possible lifestyle. Gary's got to up his booth every time. This dude's got a Harley in his booth for people to sit on and take pictures with. That's next level. I was telling you guys there was something crazy. Look at that. It's a little snug. Is it? No, that's perfect on you, bro. That looks nice on you. Look at it. Oh, man. I feel all, I feel all special. Man, that's some good Does stuff. Does it smell? <laughs> Are you running in this thing? <laughs> Look at this jerk right here. I'm such this a dick. guy producing a freaking sunset clown, man. Is that allowed? I didn't produce it. What? Two of my snakes produced uh, it, but I had nothing to do with it. Now he's trying to, to play it. the humble card. Mr. Yes, Mr. Mr. Humble on the Sunset Clown over here. I do have four kids that I produce that I know about. <laughs> Maybe more. Who knows? So it's, this guy produced the possible. Sunset Clown. You probably saw the picture if you follow him on Facebook, but I'm going to put a picture of it right here. It's this awesome. thing is awesome. I'm jealous it's cool. just a little bit. Jealous. Tiny bit. I want really? to have it. It's incredible so to my progress. <laughs> Just make one. It's <laughs> oh, not that hard. Oh, it's not that hard. It's easy. No. It's si simple stuff we're dealing with yeah. here, people. Simple, easy stuff. You just put the two snakes together. And yeah, see double head to double head, one egg in the entire clutch, <laughs> and hit the double. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one I single head that looks like it's going to die. Incubate it anyway. And the yeah. one single snake popped produces out. a sunset clown of double head to a double head. Out. Like magic. Tim Walton, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> New York firefighter extraordinaire, on top of being a master <laughs> gecko man, brought a one wheel to the show. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, oh, Somebody oh, brought one. Oh. Somebody brought me I one, dude. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some excitement. <laughs> you gotta get level. There you go. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I need more room to really get going. Though. Mr. Gundy, ladies and gentlemen, look at that guy. You're only as old as you feel, man, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, man. Mr. Osman. So, what do you think of my new method of transportation? It's pretty hot. <laughs> you got anything really badass you want to show us real quick? Not or are you yet, still working man. on it? Still Not working yet. on it? Yeah, still. All right, All right I'll come back. I'll come still back. Trying to get everything out, but I should have some cool stuff. I didn't bring a lot of holdbacks, just because, man, I'm trying to feed everything, you know. Yeah. I've been traveling, so I haven't been feeding my stuff the way I usually do. So I got home last week and I just fed the hell out of my holdbacks. So I didn't want to deal with this right <laughs> makes sense makes sense Probably at first, but he's a professional now. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> That's right, he's able to do it. I'll make a total fool. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, brother? Good, how you doing, bro? Good to see you, man. Hey, that that uh, Firefly song. 200 grams already. Nice, man. She beat it like a champ. Dude. Nice. Every time I open the cage, she's ready to <laughs> hit a smash. Dude. Awesome, yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so 
we're over here at Nerd's table, and there's uh, obviously I was expecting to see stuff that was cool on the table, but this thing is the first thing to blow my mind. We need to take a look at it. Jeremy, facility manager at Nerd. What's up? He's gonna give you guys a little rundown mm -hmm. of this animal. Yeah, so this is uh, Mini Moo. This is a calico cow. So cow is the uh, <clears throat> orange ghost stripe, phantom stripe, epistatic relationship gives you usually an all white snake that gets big blotches of black and different colors as they get older. The calico gene, we start putting that into this. We get an animal that right out of the egg has these huge blotches of pattern. Um, so everybody who follows Nerd is pretty familiar with Moo, who was like the first calico cow that now has pretty much no white on it. Uh, and she didn't even hatch out with this much pattern out of the egg. This animal came out and was already just splotched everywhere. So really excited to see how this animal changes because uh, the pattern is just going to keep changing with every shed for as long as this animal lives. Those of you guys that aren't already following the Nerd channel, you can go over there. There'll be a link in the description. Sorry, Mini Moo. <laughs> I didn't see you coming in there so him in the face. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, whatever. <laughs> and also, it looks like we're going to be able to do an interview with Kevin on Triple B TV. So that's kind of one of the highlights for me for the show that's going to be coming up. So you can look forward to that coming as well. Yes, sir. Awesome. All right, another sweet animal on Nerd's table, dude. This is right next to Mini Moo, little baby Bolin's python, man. You just don't get to see these all that often, so when I see one, I get really excited. Look at that little baby. They get those reds in there when they're still young. And oh, buddy, this is gonna be a good weekend. Look at that. today's setup day video. I'm not sure if we're gonna film any more vlogs here at the show today. I'm definitely gonna help Jesse film some video for Freedom Breeder Channel. I'm definitely gonna be doing a ton of interviews for Triple B TV here at this table. So there's gonna be a lot of video coming out of this show. Whether or not I do another vlog is gonna kinda of depend on how much other video I shoot because I'm gonna be shooting a ton of video, talking to a ton of people, having way too much fun. So I need to uh, kinda of pace myself so that I don't kill myself so I can do another video next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions leave a comment down below There's links down below for all the people that we talked to and all that good stuff So make sure you go check that out as well and hey, we'll see you in the next video What's it gonna be you tell me comment below? What do you think the next video is gonna be tomorrow or next week? Only one way to find out Come in come in yeah, real yeah, close. Like come in yeah, close. Yeah. I need that microphone in yeah. here. I need both these guys in here, yeah. too They're in <laughs> so I've teased you guys a lot about what Triple B means and made all kinds of jokes and led you guys on to false false hopes of what Triple B means. But the, the truth is that 